Uh, we're not ready. All right, are we ready? <coughs> are we ready? All right. Yeah. Well. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give it just a couple seconds. Yo, welcome to another episode of Inkbox Podcast. We had to feel bad about not only our physical appearance, but our songwriting <laughs> with our two guests today. And also, we've got Adam here today. Yay. Uh, one arm Adam. But we're going to start the show. <laughs> Steve fucked it up. It's terrible timing. <laughs> I forgot how good we are. Yeah, <laughs> just, just like listening it. to our own shit with like the Adams Island segment. Like, I feel like it's I'm on always a talk my favorite. Show. You, you feel are. like you're on a talk show? Yeah, yeah no, I'm on a talk show now. This is a show, and we're talking. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, kind of an intervention as well. Perfect. So as long you brought. As it's not me. So you brought. Oh, I was gonna say. So you brought booze to Mandy's intervention. Uh, intervention. Oh, yeah. I'm so it sorry. It wouldn't be my intervention <laughs> if that didn't happen. <laughs> It's not yeah, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's facts. But again, we've got Adam back here finally after like uh, we tried with Steve for like four times. We ended up having to shoot him in the leg. Yeah. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's good they to be back. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we've got Hello, Adam. YouTube. He's a cop now. I am a cop. <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring this tall, dark, and the sexiest person in the scene. Also the best songwriter in the scene. We've got oh. Mandy from A Better Problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also Daniel's here. <laughs> <laughs> best looking and most talented. Yeah. Yes. Also Daniel, I guess he's got, he looks like. 2003, like pop punky. So, yeah, uh, some 41. We so, can, sure. We can yeah. say that's that, right? what I sound like. So, uh, uh, he looks like how I, I mean, he sounds like how I look. You sound like oh. a chorus of angels, Mandy. Yeah, you've got the, you've arguably got the best voice and the, yeah, you shut the fuck voice. up. Don't even talk, <laughs> talk to us and get off the podcast. <laughs> get off the podcast. We both sing like Tom DeLong. What do you mean? Oh, me? Yeah. Do I We've, sing like Tom DeLong? I've literally heard you on stage singing Blink 182. Oh, you, you I... have done that. Oh damn! I do. do that. I Multiple times out during the, uh, the other one thing. you did, I didn't. No. You're, you're on a constant out. mission to like depunk people with their love of like you're you're like trying to do this gotcha every time you do it. Because mm -hmm. like you're trying to get people singing along. Like be like, look at all these punks singing Blink 182. I, <laughs> I told do, you because you guys because everybody and everybody fucking lies. You know Blink 182. Steve knows Blink 182. All right. I don't know. Fucking Blink Drew Miguel <laughs> will probably get down in his room to some Blink 182 like later on. <laughs> <laughs> name name three songs, Daniel. Name three songs. Um, Blink-182 songs. Um, you fucking lie. Like, oh you've got man. like seven on cue right now. What's that one? The one where they... I know old songs. You could songs shout this in Cheshire a Walmart Cat. and get like yeah, a I don't, million I don't answers. My, I'm old. I, my brain went. He's my brain went. As, he's fucking lying. You, you can't like, name... Okay, name one Blink-182 song. Wasn't, wasn't there one like called Damn It? Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you wasn't get the there, applause... Uh, yeah, wasn't Steve. wasn't there like one no. called Damn It? <laughs> like wasn't their most popular song? Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, so I, well, the first thing the first thing I want to do is I want to hear Adam's fucking sweet buttery voice for the first time in a while, which I'm sure all you guys do because Steve's voice leaves a little to be desired. I don't put it on the spot. What but, should yeah, I say? No, I don't know what you want to want to say. Like I just want to hear about. Welcome to Wiener and the Butt Man. Oh man, <laughs> we got did a not sign up for that. <laughs> What am I supposed to say? So just talk, like, how's your life been since uh, since tour? Just, oh, just talk to life since tour has been difficult. I uh, I got shoulder surgery, which uh, don't recommend. Don't hurt yourself and break bones. Turns out it's not that fun. Wild take from Adam. Yeah, yeah, it's a hot take, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, life has been difficult. I haven't slept laying down in about three weeks, and I oh, will man. not for another two. Yeah, I have to sleep sitting up. That's like a vampire. Movie, is like that? I don't think that's how vampires I've seen them traditionally. In the movies. They sit up in the coffin sometimes. Yeah, but that's when they're waking up. No, they're, no, they're, no, asleep. No, they're like in the coffin, like straight up and down. Well, the yeah. fuck are, what kind of vampire shit have you been watching? They that, lay down. That Plenty. awesome. Um, uh, what that, we do in the shadows? Yeah, they do in that one a couple times. It was a great show yeah. and movie. The two I think they lay down. In it. No, they stand straight up, bro. Yeah. Take some pictures. There, there were. Oh, okay. You. I see what you mean. The okay, really yeah, old vampire was like sleeping in the closet. Yeah, yeah, but also the two were standing. I'm talking about the show. All right, all right. The old, the the couple. I'll seed. I'll seed. Yeah. it's a great show, but not here to advertise that. No, it is a great show. It's on yeah. Hulu uh, Wednesday nights. Check it out. <laughs> 10 p.m. <laughs> We're not sponsored by anybody yet. It's on torrentx.com. <laughs> oh, we only talk about fleshlights on this show. That's right. Fleshlight. Get your light inside of a flesh. That's a good plug right there. You we'll cut. We'll, that. Cut, we'll cut that. Mandy, how <laughs> cut it. Cut it. Mandy, how do you feel about fleshlights? Um, using one or being one. Oh, oh, that was the best yeah, response. That was great. Could have hoped When's the last time you were used as a flashlight here at the ink box? Who <laughs> feel like I like signed some sort of NDA about this? Oh, oh, did you? Boy. Yeah. 
Steven is, is Steven is fucking spreadsheets and NDAs and shit. <laughs> Spread them sheets. Mm-hmm. So that- we have two talented musicians with us here. Let's let's talk about some music stuff. That's what the people want to hear about. Is that what they want to hear about? Yeah. Let's, uh, Mandy. You're you're on the far end, so we'll start with you. Um, where did you come from? That's a good question. Um, so I grew up in fucking Gilbert. Um, not exactly a place where punk is too popular. Uh, where I've America goes to breed. <laughs> Honestly, I may have changed by now, though, because, you know, I mean, I feel like a lot of different alt shit has been popular lately, so who knows? Going back to the high school that I went to, you could probably find punk kids, but very much was not the case when I was there growing up, and I just started going to shows in Phoenix until eventually I went to one random house show after I had posted a song on Facebook, and my friend was like, hey, do you have your guitar? Yeah. All right, so you're going to open the show, and then I just sat there shooting myself for like the next, I don't know, three years, <laughs> um, and now we're further along in here. Hell yeah. I'm doing great. Good uh, band. The, you guys oh, are well known. All that shitting yourself, People know really, who you all are that shitting yourself really paid off. Yeah, it yeah. just does. Yeah, yeah, when did you guys start playing shows out? Like how long ago? Um... That first house show was in 2016, and I was doing it solo for a long time before Ethan and Chandler joined, but they joined, like, fuck, like four or five years ago-ish. Okay. But we also still didn't play that much back then either. Uh, They're telling me to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we can, we can see you. Too you much? Just, that, too that's much? Prob- yeah. Telling just people to much? smile more is problematic. All right, a little less. A little less. A little less. Um, yeah, I, I the first time I was even aware of a better problem was at uh, Joe's birthday show. Yeah, that sounds correct. Honestly, we, honestly, we've gotten more known like this Ground year zero. than anything. Yeah, like <coughs> You're this welcome. has been the year. <laughs> Ground Zero was awesome. Best sure. show we played sure. with you guys was phenomenal. That first Yo, show. Yo, funny enough, I just like saw the guys from Tactless the other day, and. I was in Goodwill and was behind both of them in line. I was like, hey, didn't I like jam a microphone into your eye one yes, time? Yes, <laughs> you did. There was a mosh pit and there was no border and this fool's ass just hit it hard and boom. I was right on space. my friend's back going around this pit. We were both drunk, both tumble over. I hit this mic stand and almost took out the eye from the singer of Tackless. Oscar. Oscar. Sorry, Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, that She's, shit was. Are you going to apologize? Oh. Sorry. Uh, look we no, are, look listen, at the camera we, one. Is this a public uh, apology? Yeah, this is a public apology. Oh, man, but also, <laughs> that shit, we talked about it at Goodwill. It was funny. Um, <laughs> Oscar. We both laughed about the video because you can hear it very distinctly. Oh, it was like a pop sound <laughs> yeah. in the video. You could hear it. Was yeah. like, I see this Ooh, video. It was like a suck it shot. Yeah, I'll find it sometime and send it to you. Yeah, I got to check the video out. You know what yeah. I wanted to ask? Uh, what are the origins of the whole, do you know what day it is? You know, actually, so I was working at a coffee shop in the airport, and uh, there was a day that I had a show booked, and I went to work that morning, and, like, everything that could go wrong went wrong, but in the best of way to where I didn't end up having to do shit for the whole day. So every update that I got, I was sending Snapchats to one of my friends. I was like, you know, card system went down at work because it's show day <laughs> and just whatever the fuck came up and then i just started rolling with that nice <clears throat> for, for those people that may not have uh played a show with a better problem or mandy uh if it's show day you will be asked do you know what day it is and the answer is it's show day thank you uh I, I mean, and now, like explaining it like that just made it sound like the most boring thing. It's one of those it, you got to be there for it. No, that, that, things. Hey, I'm here no right that's now the I'm point is it. that yeah. it's the most boring thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I've heard you do it like every every time. And I, uh, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> uh, I actually have uh, one of our uh, one of our friends uh, overthinking. If you guys have ever heard of them, yeah. they're a younger local band. They're fucking kick ass. Uh, they now also like. Pay homage to that shit. They tag me in their shit on certain show days. I'm like, awesome. shout out to Mandy. It's fucking show day. Hell yeah. Our show days aren't not that exciting. Well, you play a lot of them, and mm-hmm. you should yeah. you should maybe not like play play less shows, and then they'll be more <laughs> exciting for each of them. Are you or kicking just me play out of more the band? Shows than any us. individual <laughs> show will be more exciting. Are you kicking way. me out of the band right now? Is that what this is? No. We not, used to do. Right I used to sing to Ooh, uh, oldies for, sh- Ooh, for what on is show this? day to warm up my this voice. This is alcohol. <laughs> I'd well, sing like, you know, like you know. the real oldies songs from 94.5, the oh, cool yeah? station. Yeah, I'd like stretch my voice with them. Vocal warm ups. It's yeah. a good way to avoid polyps and other long term <laughs> vocalist issues. Right. 
These now are my vocal warm ups. Yeah, check, yeah, ch- check it out. <laughs> also, like, I wish we had so- shot a podcast with Mandy like before I went sober because <laughs> I had to like because like now yeah, I'm like this of is course a different fucking, experience. Yeah, not yeah, drinking. This is, yeah, I'm sweating. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm perspiring. I, it's weird. If you ha- if you have not played a show with a better problem. Uh, while like while you drink, like it is the most lit fucking experience. Well, yeah, like for real, Tucson uh, yeah, would have sucked if, Yo, if you if you that there. Tucson show. I tell people the story of the picture and our first conversation that day because I pull up and I'm just sitting there waiting to load everything in. Justin gets out of the car, walks over, and says, "I have it like." pretty well known that you have something in the trunk that I want. <laughs> oh you know what it was? It was fucking hot vodka. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had this bottle of yes. vodka in we there for like out, probably like two days. Sitting out in front and I don't I don't mean I don't mean like lukewarm. I mean like fucking like scalding three, hot. Scalding it hot. was August. So still, there. like it was fucked. We and heard then, about that hot vodka for days yeah. afterwards. Well like As you should. Vodka. the disappointment look like on Adam now. when <laughs> when Adam walked up because the fucking vodka. The fucking sun was still up. Come see my hot vodka. And, and Adam dick. walks to the car and sees us just down in vodka. And I, I got that like fucking like, yeah, that fucking like, it's hey, gonna be a bad show. Come join me in the van with I some don't hot think vodka. I saved the <laughs> fucking picture of song. you on that bench. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, the last two bands to play were us and the Manicdotes that night. Oh and, fuck! Uh, I forgot. We were trying. I was trying to argue us show. to end the show so they would have a better crowd. And. I walk over and I see Justin just laid out across one of the benches inside the bar. And I was like, so, hey, uh, are we playing next or y'all? You guys. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, I am three weeks sober today, so. Fuck you know, yeah. Applause. Trying to, That's the shit. Applause, trying to Steve. stick to that. So there's that whole thing where now I've got to get through the. We'll get there. Woo! We'll get there. <laughs> am I gotta... supposed to be clapping when that happens? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I've got to get through all of these stories about how. Okay, it's not that. Okay, fine. <laughs> we're we're just we're so. <laughs> hey, listen, you could have oh, no, no, no. so many worse stories. Uh, oh, I've got some bad ones. <laughs> I'm Here. pretty sure this entire table does. Yeah. On that mm. note, sorry, you, buddy. Good job. Cheers. Yeah, I like that's uh, what that was. There were a couple times, like uh, in fucking in Au- in Make Austin, up. the one show, like uh, the one show I got super fucked up for was our Kickbutt Coffee one, and they live streamed that show. Oh shit. <laughs> So of all the shows I shouldn't have been fucked up on, it was the one where like now I can go back and watch myself slur words into a fucking microphone. Oh so. man, we, we weren't we weren't on our A game for that no, show. No, no, we were sure. the the next day, but yeah. Oh yeah, Houston was was great. Let's not, let's <laughs> stop talking about us though. Yeah. We have guests. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Let's hear from Daniel Starp no. about his drinking problems. <laughs> no, about my <laughs> drinking problems. Go ahead. What's not uh, well, g- Give me a give, <laughs> give me a fun drunk <laughs> Daniel Starbucks story. Oh, um. 2001, I was upset at my girlfriend because she wouldn't come with me to the um, like uh, the like total chaos the show. show. The total chaos show, right? Plane into no, the no, no. So I went to the <laughs> mason jar. So I went to the mason jar, right? All fucking hammered on like 30 beers, dude. We were just walking around with fucking cases, and uh, you know, this is before you know cops had cameras and shit. They don't, you know, they don't know what the fuck you're doing. Mm-hmm. After the show, I was so wasted, I uh, drop kicked a, ca- a car and uh, I went down the way and smashed some shit. I won't say exactly what I did because, you know, some might be like, that was that guy. But yeah, I <laughs> smashed some shit and hid in the bar while the cops came. And yeah, that was probably my drunkest night ever. Yeah, it was fun. I, you Old probably wouldn't shows. get in trouble anyway because you're just that handsome guy that like people are just like no he's no, fine. Yeah, the, I, I had like a burn that scar on my, my car? hand too yeah. for a while. Yeah, there was like this, again, this electrical please. box that I kicked and it was just sparking and I was just laughing and <laughs> kicking this thing and it was just sparking everywhere and my friends like you gotta get the fuck out of here, man. Like, but he's so hot when he does it. Look at <laughs> it. It's, it's grace. It's beautiful. I had some competition that night. The lead singer from Total Chaos is an absolute dreamboat. I don't know if you've seen that guy, but he no. is. Oh, I thought you were talking very alcoholic tall. competition. No. no. <laughs> oh, that guy has got some beautifulness, though. That guy is. I'll have to look him up. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, like, I, you I, brought me here. What do you want? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> we have your ex here. We have your <laughs> ex here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, we have your ex. Wait, what? I don't know. We, so <laughs> we're we're back to the formula where we got Adam here. So we've got people that will hold up signs to us now and. Apparently, we've He'll got one say of your things that trigger me. They're called trigger signs. We've I... got one of your exes here uh, from 2001, <laughs> by the way. So she's here to tell what actually happened. Oh, man. <laughs> so when did uh, Skeleton Army like start? Like, I'm assuming that was way before I even moved here. So Skeleton Army started the moment that Donald Trump was elected president. 
that was the moment. November of twenty. The exact 15? moment. Yes. The no, I think it was twenty twenty. No, it was twenty fifteen. Ignore. Ignore. Yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah, twenty fifteen. Oh, yeah, right yeah. 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 When they were when they announced he won the election, uh, Rusty and um, Sterling and um, Justin all uh, from my band were like, we're gonna we're gonna start an anti-Trump punk band, and they played terrible music for like a year, <laughs> and then I found them on Craigslist. And then I joined in 2016, and then we jammed in 2017 and started playing shows. So, what is what is Skeleton Army? We used to be an anti-Trump punk band. No, no, no like the name. Like, oh, what Trump? is it? What does the name harken? It, it's the Skeleton oh, Army, Army, bro. Skeleton. There's no yeah. story there. It's, just, to be, that's, it's be a badass to... fucking name. Is what it is. <laughs> it is a cool it's name. It's a fucking badass name. It Who cool here name. thinks the Skeleton Army is a bad punk name? I was expecting talking. like <laughs> it's 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 a it's a spin on. Don't like, make me get on this table. I told you I won't get on this table. Jesus. It's now you know what skeleton army worst band name. <laughs> worst band oh, name. Wow. I mean it can't be as bad as the manicdotes. Nothing is. It's or the, the worst. The manicdotes. What is it? Manicdotes. Monk. Monk. It doesn't matter. You I can almost, barely say it. I don't know. You're starting to cross the line, line into sounding racist now. You're like this racist <laughs> asshole. Are the like, a racist? This is already this not point? usable. Nah, he's, he's like, he's no, like, he's like. No, but you know what? We don't like to say his name anymore. I actually won't say his name anymore. Uh, Donald just because uh, we actually don't. Fuck you. Don't say his name again. I'll <laughs> fucking get on this table Jesus. and start acting like a monkey. Right. But anyway, we uh, don't play any of their songs. Any of the songs about him anymore. Uh, dropped them all and just. Luckily, yeah. he's kind of irrelevant now. So yeah, I don't give him any attention. That's good because he likes even negative attention. Exactly. So, like, any attention to him is good attention, right? He's mm -hmm. a fucking total prick. Narcissist. And everybody knows if you guys, hey, you remember that guy that was a total prick that ran the country? Everybody knows who the fuck you're talking about. You didn't even need to say his name. So, we don't write songs about him. We don't think about him. We moved on from him. Good. Charge, charge him rent in Yeah, your head. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, where did a better problem Where's the applause? From? The name. The name. <laughs> yeah, fuck Trump. <laughs> fuck. It's not like. Uh, yeah. I First of all, I would like to say uh, if you talk about an asshole that ran the country, I wouldn't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. That's Even not better specific. right there. Um, anyway, uh, a better problem. I've had this conversation with a lot of people about a lot of the different meanings to the band name. Uh, it's a lot, but the truth is uh, it used to just be better problem. And uh, it was a misremembered line from Spider-Man 3. And a friend showed me like a list of band name ideas while we were doing a lot of drugs. <laughs> and he was like, hey, check some of these out. Like, and I sat and looked through and was like, that's kind of cool. And there it went. The burp in this Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for Trying having a more entertaining you. story than Daniel. Daniel really found Daniel well, just like, I it's mean, cool. honestly, yeah, to me. Seriously, we're still talking about anti-Trump shit. Like, God, Skeleton wow, Army man. is like. <laughs> embracing death to me like almost every single song i write there is some sort of like hidden meaning behind it like there's death always behind it every single song there's something about hurting something or whatever yourself or whatever are you okay oh yeah okay but that's just life you're born in this you're not you don't get a choice this is you got to deal with it oh you so. don't gotta tell me i fucking hate being alive i know <laughs> seriously like i exist without my consent <laughs> exactly show exactly. hands yeah. up yeah. cable yeah. actually <laughs> likes being alive I was yeah. just chilling in the I ether. You know? <laughs> no one even said anything of that shit. They're like, yep. <laughs> I was just chilling in the ether. My dad's pull out game's bad. And now I got to pay exactly. bills. Yeah. You know, exactly. funny Love enough, you, I got told why my dad was willing to not wear a condom. Oh. Uh, why? Who the fuck does that? Like, yeah, no, 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 listen. The story's funny enough that like I understood why he shared it with me because, you know, my dad's a teenager in the 90s and got to hear a weed myth about smoking stems making you sterile. I was a teenager. I was 90s. just about to say, I was a fucking teenager <laughs> in the 90s. Yeah. God damn it. Ain't that funny? Continue. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I exist because of a weed myth. Huh. Huh. And oh, I think that's, that's, that's really. Smoking, oh, yeah. So, it's not smoking true. Stems, the real truth is you, about it is if you smoke a bowl of seeds a day, you'll be sterile. Is that because Maybe of the arsenic go, content? I, yeah, trust me, I, I used to work for a smoke shop. <laughs> that gives me credence here. Can we have some more of this or what? These are the, these are the stories your parents told you? Uh, yo, my parents have told me some great stories. Dude, my mom, uh, my mom, can't be in the my mom straight up told me, like, I was like 23 when she told me, but she's like, yeah, like, 
I thought she's, I was sterile. She's like, my mom told me she's like, "Yeah, your dad used to come in your socks and then <laughs> wash them." Your mom? No, no, no. no. Let me tell you. Let that. me tell you. And then I had to confirm my dad at twenty-three. I thought I was sterile. Someone busted fuck? out a bowl of weed, and I was like, "Where the fuck do you get the weed from?" We didn't have any, and he was like, "I started smoking it," and he was like, "It was the seeds," and I was oh like, God. "Mother." I, so you I know what? I came from my dad's cum, and I want that to be the end of my dad's <laughs> cum being a topic in my life. You Please. never ask him about it? No. no. I wouldn't. I don't want to think about. <laughs> yeah, no. Let, let's. Uh, you just gotta go. Up, you just gotta go up to your dad. Let's move past the dad's cum. Anyway, you want to go yo, I think it's funny. My dad comes to my shows and shit. So like, there's a good chance. Anyway, to watch the reason this. why I'm here is to <laughs> tell everyone to come to my show. Oh. What you got? Oh, yeah, we were we were gonna get to what that. What you want to plug? I got a fucking awesome show. They'll take two more shots. You can be on camera. Come on, come on. It's fine. You can be on it's camera. Fine. It's we don't care. And now we've got Cali. Adam, Adam arachnids. <laughs> don't forget to tip Adam your bartender. Spider Thank web. <laughs> That's Cali. <laughs> <Yes>. Black Widow. <laughs> Hashtag Goldilocks. Black Widow. <laughs> anyway, there's a show coming up. We're doing it at uh, December 1st. I know it's on a first Friday, but trust me, you do not want to go on a first Friday. It's a fucking madhouse down oh, there. We know. So, so come to our show. It's 17 in Peoria. Ask a punk for the location. It's ground zero location. FOL, Blotter Vision, uh, uh, ADD, Skeleton Army, and Squared are playing it. December 1st. Nice. Really, it's, it's a Toys for Tots show. Um, to be perfectly honest, this is kind of like my, like, get me into heaven if I believed in heaven kind of routine here. Oh, <laughs> Like, I've done a lot of shitty things in my life. You're going to get uh, to heaven, they're going to be like, in 2001, yeah. you were kind of <laughs> right? But this is supposed <laughs> to make up for that. that show. You know what? How many times I've gotten paid for shows, and there are people that don't have fucking toys for Christmas and shit, dude, and I would love to see 100 toys donated by us. That's what my pledge is supposed to be. A hundred toys. I really not, want to not see a hundred toys. Not bullshit toys either. Let's get some fucking PS5s No, it's PS5s fucking brand new. There. Anything brand new. Yeah. 20 bucks, dude. We'll get you a really nice fucking toy from Amazon right now. Fuck, I know you all pay for Prime, $14.99 and PS5 shit, PS5 start at uh, $3.99. Yeah. Right? Get some, if someone PS5. brings a PS3, <laughs> then, PS3, then then they'll get a piggyback ride from this man because go. he's got the young back. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel what? like your back is not good? It is not. I, I feel like it, you'd <laughs> have a it's, bad back. I, I After shows, it's pretty much people. ice, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the youngest person at this table anymore. So. No, okay, yeah. well then it's yeah. 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 But no, come to the show. <laughs> I don't ever. Just, hell, I don't admit my age, but I will admit that I'm the youngest person yeah. at this table. Bring Bring your your dad was a teenager when I was a teenager, so I know that's a clue. Crazy. We've got clues. There's a breadcrumb trail. I feel like I may be your dad. I'm just kidding. You're okay. born in 2001, right? Actually, I'm Evan. <laughs> I'm, I'm Evan from Skull Drugs Dad, apparently. What? Yeah. Apparently, me and Evan look sim very similar from Skull Drugs. So, so I, I confused I mean, like, Skull listen. Drug and Skeleton Army all the fucking time. For like the first six months, he totally did. It was <laughs> insane. No, I do all the time. I'm like, didn't I was like, we played a show with fucking Skull Drug, right? And like just the other night. And they're like, no, that was fucking Skeleton Army. And then Skeleton vice fucking versus. Wait, way to support uh, your peers in this Okay, scene. don't have two names that are like that start with an S and <laughs> are the same. I don't uh, know. You're gonna talk to anyone about having two names. Names? Yeah. Oh, oh we yeah. Do that's, that's, yeah, that's Adam. Here, take, take here a shot. That's fair. Hold on. And also, if oh, you're... we got pocket beers over here. <laughs> this guy, I like you. Yeah, all right. And I thought you were just happy to see me. Like yeah. Like... Also, right. I'm just gonna say out loud in general. This happens every if time I come to Anybody's gonna write Steve's. anything on a sign to show us? Please be more specific. Sorry, that didn't. Uh... I'm just saying that to the ether. Oh yeah. By the way. Oh. <laughs> oh man. And now the ether is giving me the middle finger. Yeah, Jaeger's I haven't been able to move birthday. past the confusion. Was that, that Jaeger? Yeah. That was Jaeger. I'm trying to. Uh, Every time I drink Jaeger, it just reminds me. What of I got? Night. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's is it Jaeger? Jaeger? Is no. it Schnapps? Oh shit. Oh yeah. We had it's a our hot signature drink. Shot. It's yeah, a hot tamale. Do we have a name of our drink? The manic don't. What is it? The manic don't. That's good. That's the hot tamale. I feel like I feel like that would already be a drink though. It is, yeah. All right, yeah. the manic do. Then. In, in some sorority the house, does. they are drinking them right The manic now. does. The manic what? The manic does. No, we can do better. Anyway, is this I was what talking being in a band with me, you is like? is this and <laughs> I'm just going to continue to do that. So I was born in Arizona, and I moved to Illinois, and then I grew up in Japan. You grew up in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> fucking what? crazy, huh? Wait, what? yeah. Wait, yeah. I didn't fuck? fucking know that. What? So I'm a military kid, hence the reason why I'm... I fucking hate, you know, the military and cops and shit, organizations like that. But, yeah, grew up in the military, was told when I was, like, fucking seven that I'm going to fucking Japan, right? I'm like, hell yeah, this is terrible. 
<laughs> Are you a weeb? <laughs> no, no, but I did see like the Broly movie in theaters and shit in like Same. real Japanese. Oh, it's so good. I mean, mm. it's so fucking good. Like in Japanese, yeah. I had a friend who was um, half black, half Japanese. So he was like translating everything for me and shit. So I was like really lucky, dude. Uh, am I going out there or what? Dubs over subs. No, it's yeah. I was blowing a kiss to my daughter. Blowing a kiss to your daughter. Why not me, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, you anyway, do, you make things tingle. Japan is fucking <laughs> awesome. You know what? I wish I could go back there. I would love to take Skull Drug with us because I know Justin Waldrop's a huge fan. I would love to bring him and go fucking take Skeleton Army Skull Drug and go do a fucking Japan tour. It'd be Hell fucking yeah. crazy shit. They they love they uh, love punk, dude. They love no punk one that Japan. tall. Yeah. You know what? I was taller than everyone when I was in like you, eighth grade. You're it was taller crazy. Than now. All the, yeah. 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 How tall are you? I am six one and three quarters. What? And I have not started to shrink yet. I'm actually quarter Filipino, so I start to shrink after a certain age. I so. think after thirty five we start getting smaller. What? Are you Filipino too? Or no. Cool? No, you're Asian or what? No, no. My dad's black. My mom's Italian. Oh, shit. You're nowhere near that. <laughs> yeah, no. Not at all. No. Let's no. <laughs> Mexicans are closer to me because, like, the. Uh, Hi. We're like, like seriously, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, no, no, like, there's, a like, there's always right Jack now. Daniels at my fucking Filipino house. Oh, my God. I got to tell you guys. I went to a 50th wedding anniversary. Every single old person there got fucking tanked, dude. And they are just, Jack Daniels, here we go. Fucking boom. It's just like crazy. Every time they have a party, it'd just be like booze and oh, baby born, booze time. Here we go, fucking shots around. You shouldn't give booze to babies. Instead of like tamales, it'd be like lumpia. That's what we oh, had. Listen, so. uh, I knew what a car bomb was by the time I was like seven. Nice, um, nice. There's that yeah. regular Sounds tequila like shot. Yeah. They're yeah. somewhere actually. Yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, there's a lot of unreleased to better problem shit. Actually, I don't know why. Like we don't have much coaster. out. <laughs> First, yeah, you don't. I'm no, like we do not. You need some. First we time, do. First time I ever tried alcohol was uh, I was like five, and it was just because like my dad's a bad parent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and wow. it was because Same. I, I, I love you, but like I start my my, See, dad's, my parents were my great. dad's hanging they out with me in the backyard. I was like ten, and I, I started choking, like, and he grabbed the first thing that he could find, and just like fucking, it was a tall can, and I still vividly <laughs> remember fuck. wanting to throw up and wondering how people like drank that, and now like I'm a you know. I'm an alcoholic, so you know, I'm like, thanks, Dad. I, I mean, shit. That. I'm an alcoholic and still wondering why we fucking do this shit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I understand it, but also just, how did they not make this taste better by now? Yeah. Like, it's an acquired taste. You're telling me vodka can't like just taste good? Some of it does, right? When like you mix the, it, with the you. more expensive. The only, the only, so no, the that's only all alcohol, the same. Oh, only one I like by itself is scotch. Don't know nothing until you're scotch. drinking vodka in a fucking baseball field in the middle of nowhere. I don't like drinking hot Alaska. vodka in the back of vet. Yeah, I was gonna say y'all don't know. Yeah, yeah until you pass vodka out the until fucking you're diamond. in a parking lot with a better problem. Yeah. <laughs> Selling magazines the next day. Sorry, personal experience. I used to sell magazines door to door. We can go out doing coke and drinking on the baseball diamond. After work, I sold Kirby <laughs> vacuums when I was eighteen. I fell for that. I shit. tried to get the vacuum guy; they wouldn't hire me. A dude, a dude threatened to stab me, right? Because I remember, like, the <laughs> the lady that was my fucking boss, like, fucking loved vacuums. You're all like, like here's way a too stain that much. we can get up with our vacuum, and but you're no. like, he's like, motherfucker. But, but she's she's talking about this salesman shit, and I'm eighteen and fucking naive and dumb. And, she, and she's like, you gotta knock on these people's doors, and she's like, yeah, some people they'll be reserved, but you gotta stay, you know. And this dude's like, I'll fucking shoot you. And she's like, oh, and you walked away right after that. I was like, of course I fucking did. <laughs> this is the most ADD She's podcast. got to need a shot sign. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Said need a shot sign? Oh, yeah. No, it's all right. You can listen to it when you actually listen to the podcast. That's why I was figuring. I was like, you know what? I like, can listen on. to this full later. Do you all listen to this podcast? <laughs> have you listened to previous I episodes? I have a few of them. Yeah, a few of them I've listened to. Yeah. They're really good when I'm working, actually. Oh, nice. It's kind of like ASMR. The, ooh, that's, that's my the ASMR thing. Compliment you can be paid. I was paid doing some it. No, there's no, there's a no ASMR rule on this podcast. Yeah, it's re it wasn't instated <laughs> for the past couple episodes, but Adam's back now, and I love Adam. Thank you. What? Oh, oh sweet. I got it back. Yo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit for you guys. Oh, God. Are you going to pop it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't fire. that, like, soothing? Why do you do this? Why are you like this? <laughs> Get out of here. I hate ASMR. I like that. It's disgusting. I mean, you know, I like you know what I don't it. like? I hate to say it, but I fucking don't like the sound of TikTok. You know what the sound of TikTok is? Mm. It's the sound of multiple videos within 30 seconds. It's 
by far the most annoying thing to me. I think I'm old. I think yeah, that's I the say, problem. I think you're out of that or you very, don't have ADD. It's a very old man very grumpy ADD. thing. It's a very isn't boomer. It? Okay, boomer. I'm fucking. I think I'm <laughs> yeah. just gonna have to. You know what? I hate the, the baggy pants and the <laughs> boomer scales video on me. games. <laughs> These kids in their fucking. <laughs> I mean, it's like their it's like cassette tapes. Their Facebooks and TikToks and these kids in them. Their MySpaces in there. Insane. And I'm like a fucking channel flipper kind of guy, so I can handle it. But damn, the TikTok drives me nuts. Yeah, I'm not sure. You can, I'm yeah. with you. I mean, you, like, uh, I started a new band and I have to get a TikTok for yeah, it. Yeah, well, I think bands should, should, should be doing it. Dude, that's no, what the law told You gotta get with the times. It, it like, fucking, fucking works. does, doesn't it? See? <laughs> yeah, like bands that'll just immediately be like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. Most bands called that Brain that Cakes. Like, that's yeah. a great I'm, TikTok. I'm thankful name. to be in a band with you people know? who care about stuff like that. Because yeah. I, I, I Adam will never is be an, that guy. Is yeah. an island. <laughs> Adam, get off my lawn. Adam just. <laughs> Adam, Yo, is that a Monster island? House reference? What? Hell yeah. Adam, I have a question for you here that I wrote down. Okay. <laughs> Are you an island? Am I an island? Uh, is there? Do I see a single <laughs> dollar in your wallet right now? Are you down bad? I have. There I feel like rebelling and there's not doing student. the bit oh, okay. because I'm, I'm being told. I hide my twenties, you know. Oh, Steve. Okay, I have to listen to. Band manager Steve. We have to listen to band man manager oh, Steve. Oh, band right, manager we're gonna, Steve. We're going to do a segment that uh, we do every week here on the Ink Box. It's called Adam's Island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to Adam's Island. You know what time it is. I will fucking eliminate you. <laughs> I will be the last one on the island, the so survivor. Since, since you've watched the I've podcast. I've already voted you off. Uh, <laughs> you already voted me off? That's intense. Uh, <laughs> since you've watched the podcast and you all are fans, was he checking his phone every week? Probably. Yeah, he does that. Yeah, so yeah, there's also make sure you don't like get any texts on or a phone call because we make you answer that shit on on air. Yeah, you, that's the rule. But J- Justin, for some reason, but immune. so I actually no, uh, I actually like since I we have to do a different album for Adam on this table oh, that what you're <laughs> for at? Adam's Island every week. I've got a list. <laughs> I also have a list. Yeah. Oh, How sturdy is oh this table? yeah, this bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah, oh, sturdy is okay. table. So Adam's Island. It, the concept is you are stranded on desert island. And oh, you can oh, only you're take actually you're really doing something. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> fake fan. Fake fan. Oh, I have the worst AGHD, dude. I'm so I've sorry. Did you say AGHD? Yeah, I even missed Attention is that how one? sad it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, extreme gotcha. Like human growth <laughs> hormone <laughs> ADD. You get one album to listen to for the rest of your life, Daniel. Actually, we're going to start with Mandy. You're on the edge. Ah, so I got to think about this. What is your Desert uh, Island album? You know, that's a hard call for me. Um, so... <laughs> I have two picks, but I think it will rock. be obvious why it's between two. You get one. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta choose. Or you get flogged in Steve's garage. Do whatever you want. Literally, the theme guys. song <laughs> is the lyrics are stranded, and you only get one. It's Adam's it's Island. Island. <laughs> but I'm me, so I get whatever I want. Oh, damn. Oh, um, right. It's between The Decline by No Effects because. <sighs> Fucker. Jesus Christ. Thank God that was plastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish it hadn't been. Um, me too. But. It's between the decline by no effects because that's technically an album, you know. That's but just one song, I'll allow it. man. I'll allow it. That's but just one song. The opposite side of that is a uh, vacation by Bomb the Music Industry. Oh, God that's damn a it. great choice. Yeah, that album. Uh, anytime people have like asked, like, "Oh, what are your top five? I like that one's always the first one out of my mouth because just like I listened to Bomb a lot growing up. Like, super good. Yeah, they're fucking phenomenal. That band is. Honestly, untouchable. It kind of bums me out that Jeff Rosenstock like does things now because I'm like, you do know it's not as good as Bomb the Music Industry, it's right? Safe. It's good, but it's, it's really good. Not. It's fantastic, yeah, it's no but no, it's not that. And like, Vacation was such a perfect note for that band to end on. And like, I remember when it first came out, uh, me and my dad listened to it. And we were like, eh, it's not that good. About a year later, we were like, yo, we were fucking wrong. It's, that album is fucking fantastic. Yeah. Everything about it. Good choice. Good Are choice. you going to ask me the same one? No. Nope. We're going around the table. Yeah, you're next. Uh, skip. No, nope, you can't. can't. <laughs> you can't. Gotta, gotta Haven't heard that I've one. never heard that band. So I'm pretty bad, dude. I don't I don't really listen to too much of new music or anything. Doesn't have to be new. <laughs> <laughs> if you fucking do that wah wahs, I'm doing on the fucking so, table soon. <laughs> literally, if you if you don't choose, we will dub in Other Screwdriver in the final like Yo! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's getting clipped. You know that. That's. <laughs> no, no, no. no, I mean, that, that's getting clipped uh, like as a clip for fucking. Yo. Are we on Twitch right now? Damn. Yeah. You're not getting out of I'll this. I'll take another one of those manic doesn't. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's already manic. Don't. <laughs> it, like it, it's it's right there. Anyway, choose. Um, <laughs> choose an album. Shit, an album. I really fucking. I'm not okay. sure. We're dude. coming back to you, but you're not getting out of this, Justin. All right, I'll come back to me. I'm gonna think about <laughs> I'm it. I'm going with Yo, what some 41 album are you picking? Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, which Blink 182? <laughs> There's been too much Blink. Man, I might change mine to Blink right now. <laughs> are you? It was Blink. Your no, You've already no, done no, Blink. No, I, no, I, I did one Blink, but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go a little bit older. I'm gonna go Cyberpunk by Billy Idol. Wow, oh, wow. Mm. That's, that's a good I, pick. That's a good that's pick, actually. I, I actually uh, respect not you more. Not even a Gen X album. I mean, I respect you less, but it's a good pick. You respect me less, and fuck. You know what? I'm like I'm a podcast yeah. host. I don't know if you I guys was thinking, know. We were all no, thinking I don't. it. We were all You're right. It. You already deserve less respect. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know. Is I really choice. like that pink. I don't know where I'm you got it from. I'm in my mid-thirties. I'm divorced. I host a podcast. Steal that shit. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't realize oh you were that God. much of a Billy Idol fan. Yeah. Yo. Dude, I fucking love Billy Idol. With my I set, like uh, Billy Idol. No, not the fandom, but just the like. Requirements you know to be a Billy Idol fan. I had Generation X on tape, yo guys. Like Generation I, X was actually insane, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So that was I, pretty I, good. I'm surprised. Right now, like to supplement my income and stuff, I DoorDash a lot. So I'm constantly just trying to find good albums to listen to. In the past, like two days, I've just been Old going shit. through all of Billy the older Idol stuff. Shit. Yeah. Uh, Can we yeah. talk about Billy Idol's cameo in The Wedding Singer and how Don't it might that's be one of my favorite Billy movies of all time? So dude, yes, it, it's one of the best cameos of all that time. Any hack now, dude? Ugh. Sorry. Apologies to the family of Billy Idol. <laughs> and to Billy Idol. Billy Idol, if you're watching this, just his family. Just turn it off. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna look what, like you're biting off his entire fucking yeah. thigh right now. I fucking did. You, you wanna talk shit? You're basically like you're just beating up Billy Idol right now. I'm like Paul Rudd and Billy Idol in the punk scene, apparently. That's what people are referring to me yeah. as. I, can I don't it. really so age. So Billy Idol, if you wanna come on the podcast, I don't really age and I look like Billy Idol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Anyway, my fucking album. Will be Operation Ivy. God damn it! You took mine yes. for the day. Yes. yes. Fuck. And I just. I uh, uh, now you have Ivy nothing on the island. The I had yeah. Big City. I love Big City. Even the even the fucking maybe No Cash. Maybe No Cash's album. I love No Cash's album. Oh man. Mm. Did you just cheers the side of his head? <laughs> no, I cheers his. Yo, the hot brain. sauce like set in that one. That was fucked. Good choice, Daniel. You you stole. You literally stole the one I had queued right, up for I'll today. Choose, I'll choose no, 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 no. cash. No, I'll no, choose no, no, no cash. No, he, he no, can't no. say it now. No, that is that is actually. Why is there hot sauce in this? Because it's a. Uh, you know, a signature. Drink. I Yo, those of you <laughs> who you don't follow my water? band on Instagram, <laughs> y'all missed a video of Daniel. Oh, dying. No, no, over I don't want this yeah. to drink. I need something cold to drink. <laughs> that was a the fuck you got in your risky hand? maneuver. You a so I don't like hot sauce. One. I don't. I don't need still, hot sauce. But my band has hot sauce. You're violently opposed to it, even. Yeah, I'm gonna need some beer or something. You got a beer, you guys out there in the ether? <laughs> I want to hear. So, so we still got the. We got to end Adam's Island on actual Adam. All right. And motherfucker, you have basically been stranded in a fucking room for like a month. <laughs> so now, like, this should be. What have you been listening to? <laughs> like. It's true. Um, all right, fine. I, I, I guess I'm going to say the Ace of Spades album, Motorhead, because <laughs> every song on there is bangers front to back. Yeah, it's it's dope. It feels forced. Though. I'm going to change my uh, answer. I'm going to change my answer. So you, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with No Cash. Sorry. Uh, more like Gasoline Motorhead. Gasoline is just better than the rest of that. What? Do you not like Motorhead? I don't really Motor like Motorhead. I mean, I like Motorhead. I, uh, I don't like them, though. No. Only fine. a few. It's all right. Oh, all right. Shit. I got some white on claws. The, literally, this happens every time I come what to see. Oh, here. Fuck oh, you. Well. Oh, you know what? I like Blackberry, actually. I like the darker one. It's Nobody right. likes black cherry. On the last podcast, I talked... Steve I just talk knows the trees. You know what's funny is that I'm the only one that... go. I go to Yucca, and I bought out all their black cherries. Honestly, I know a lot of people <laughs> like black cherry. I got beef with it, and I will fucking fight people with that. Damn. You got a lot of strong right. preferences at this table. Very much so. Yeah, yeah, mine are the only ones that, that are right, Steve. Though. I just spilled shit <laughs> You don't like Motorhead? On the last podcast, I actively, openly just said... <laughs> Fuck gutter mouth and their boomer shit. Like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Like, yes, hundred percent. Yes, agree with that. Fuck. Uh, I opened also, her gutter mouth and we sold three hundred dollars worth of shirts that night. It was the fucking best. We played night with ever. gutter mouth, yeah. and the only re the only reason we stayed on it was as a favorite band because usually because uh, we uh, we got offered the show first and we took it, and then I kind of found out about all that homophobic bullshit, 
And normally, like, oh, what, just, what homophobic bullshit? Uh, just just go- just have you it. ever listened oh, to Guttermouth? It's they're just they're not just really, like no. fucking they're, like they're fret right, right winger. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, punk bullshit. So punk I really like the Vandals over that band. Over that, I really like the per- Vandals. If I'm gonna man. pick yeah. a conservative punk band, yeah, it's the Vandals. Who out there wants to see Skeleton Army do a Vandals cover band for Halloween next year? Huh? That'd be great. How about fucking cool? How about just we do Adam. a Manic like Just Adam wants to Skeleton <laughs> Army. I like the Vandals cover band. How about fucking yeah, dude? Get Gene up. Where's Gene at? Gene's never Tucson. here. Gene's in Tucson. I was he hoping Gene was going to be here. Yeah. He basically, he comes down to... All right, Gene, if you're watching this, we're us two, and you are starting this. a Vandals cover band for next year, Halloween. He's definitely not watching this. You better watch this. <laughs> <laughs> he watches them. I love, like, knowing your bandmates enough to know that, like, on. yeah, you know, like, my bandmate <laughs> might not know the song titles or, like, yeah, might not watch free. the podcast or might yeah. not, like, even follow the band page, but, like, you know, it's the bandmate. Like, G just shows up, and he looks like the most punk rock person I've ever, like, fucking met. Dude. And you know just, what? He Gene stole PBRs. a thing that I am known for. I've only, I'm pretty sure I've only seen Gene in Gene's one outfit. Bradley and I have been Saturday known Live. that exact like, way. I introduced myself as a cartoon amazing. character yeah. because yeah. of how often you see me wearing the same thing. Dude, <laughs> they were going to cut down me this off tree that was, like, was 150 Damn, years me. old, but Gene stood in front of it and made sure they didn't cut it down. He's a real humani- humanitarian. There's a part side of Gene that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just making up shit. Stuff in this podcast may or may not be made up. <laughs> yeah, where'd you uh, where'd you get your facts? Uh, well, I made that from shit up. So. <laughs> Infowars.com. From like a delusion that I had yo. a couple years ago. <laughs> Turning frogs gay. Gene's a humanitarian. Right, take this one off camera. How we do that? <laughs> How are you, you feeling, buddy? Uh, half spilled. I did. I did no such thing. <laughs> it was fuck? me. I spilled. Yeah, I know. Pants. <laughs> as soon as it was spicy, you weren't good. Dude, it was spicy. Mandy, I want to hear about the worst show you've ever played. Like it doesn't have to be a state. I just mean the whole experience itself. This is my favorite Give part it. of knowing musicians. Yeah. I, I have the one of these actually. On it. Every uh, show you've played with the manic dudes. <laughs> yeah, every time that I wish that I was playing with Night of the Spiders. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> we met the Night of the Spiders dudes. They're fucking chodes, dude. They're super Honestly, hot. the yeah. thing is, they're really good. But those they're dudes reptilians. are fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But now, uh, worst show I ever played. Uh, Working forty hours a week. No one works forty hours a week, bro. Not anymore. Nobody wants to work anymore. Uh, no, no, no. Listen, we can't afford to only work 40 hours. Yeah. <laughs> True. Um, but no, worst show I ever played, uh, shamefully so. So it was a three band house show. Uh, this touring band, Hans Gruber and the Die Hards, they're oh, yeah. really fucking yeah. good. They're Fuck yeah. so good. I know. I'm trying to play uh, I This was pre pandemic. I played it at a um, homie's house at the time. And uh, PP. They, you know, we had the opening <laughs> band play. Hans Gruber played, and then we played. Now, only, like, five people showed up to this show. And, like, honestly, I can deal with that. That's fine. I'm super about that. I like playing to whoever is in the crowd. As long as one person, right? As long as I one played person to none. There. I mean, it's happened. I, I played to the other I band, like, at least. Eh. Play for the other band. Hey, yo, the other one bands time don't I played a show watch. just for I Jerry Wright. You know, that shit was hilarious. I've definitely skipped a few sets. Shamefully, I will admit. But... Nonetheless, uh, I watched Hans Gruber absolutely fucking destroy this show. And uh, I literally said to everyone in the band after they finished playing, I was like, yo, how the fuck are we supposed to follow that? Mm. You want to know how we followed that? It was a total snowball from first song to last song of nothing but fuck ups. Oh, Mm. damn. Like, it was just like, that's, you know, we fuck up on stage like every other punk band ever. It happens. It Not is me. what it is. <laughs> I've watched uh, you fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm pretty sure I got that on video. Um, yeah, you did. You talking about drunk space? But, uh, yeah. you know, that was yeah. just like Name the show. show. Yeah. That was the one. I was like, I remember slamming my guitar into the case and being like, fuck, why do I do this? Yeah, I know that. And thing. then, like, a couple months later, we played another show, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's why. Mm-hmm. You're only, I feel like. Like in a band, you only feel as good as your last show was. Like when you had a great last show, yeah. and you got like three weeks until your show, you're just like, my band's great. You have a bad and show. That's why we only do good now. Yeah. And yeah. when we have bad shows, I start like looking into new hobbies and yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> like after the week after. I'm like maybe I should skateboard or yeah. something. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? Oh, my. Is show? there hot sauce in that? Fucking finally. This guy. Hate Wait, are these still I the same? I do not things? like hot sauce. I don't know. But Skeleton Army, get your hot sauce like now it. from us. Do you have your own hot sauce? Yeah, we oh. got our own hot sauce. Uh, Rusty makes his own hot sauce, actually. Oh, I know. We've it's had pretty fucking good. He just cheers my hair. I love it. 
It's choosable. Why are we beating dogs now? Hmm. Yeah. Triggering. Yeah, well, okay, we this was like dogs. different booze. <laughs> yeah, oh on it, mine was still what grainy. The, what the but fuck it was, was still that? fine. Like, it's alcohol. He's like, here's something completely different. Hey, it's like the I mean, Saturday morning we, cartoon show. What's the worst show here. you've ever played, Daniel? Me? Starbuck. Okay, my worst show them. was my <laughs> best show <laughs> ever, him. actually, at the same time. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, wait, in this house party, right? This might be a little I personal. I was going to say, is that this, the end of the fucking no, no, story? No, no, this, this might get a little personal, though. Um, this might end up getting cut. But anyway, playing a house Don't show in Glendale. Uh, uh, it's just like 2000, probably. And I'm playing with uh, my friends, Jerry. Uh, actually, I'm playing my friends, uh, Alan. And I'm, I'm lead singer, basically. Yeah. And I'm playing with BYOW. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. BYOW, they're a fucking Still awesome band from old to, school, right? Way back in the day. We're playing band, a fucking actually. house show with like 200 people in the backyard, right? My drummer's jamming. I'm fucking singing. The guy from the singer from BYW is putting his arm around me and says, this is the punkest motherfucker ever. We're fucking having a blast, right? And my drummer's pregnant wife is in the front, and she gets hit with a bottle in the fucking back of the head. Oh, God. Yeah, and so my drummer just fuck. mid song while I'm playing this fuck police song where it's like fuck police, like you know, and he just gets up and I just keep playing and he just gets up and tackles this guy and it's just an absolute brawl and bottles are flying all over the place and it was an absolute blast. Um, <laughs> I mean, we played for a good I was twenty for minutes. A bad yeah, well, someone show pregnant experience. got hurt I mean, at our show and it ruled. Fifteen to ten, fifteen to twenty minutes. It was an awesome show. And then it all just went to shit. And and then the cops showed up about 10 minutes later because it was just like violence everywhere. And I'm grabbing my gear and I'm fucking throwing in my fucking thing and I'm running. And the cops are coming around the corner and, and we just all just split, you know. Um, and, you know, a couple weeks later, BYOW's like, that was a great show. You guys want to play at Jugheads next? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it gave us some notoriety back in the day. That's nice. It was awesome. Tattoo party is what it was. So I'm, I'm sitting here. I was like, "What's your worst show?" And then you just like had a blast reenacting it. <laughs> You're just like, "Yeah, it's the greatest it was the night great of my fucking life." Like, best and, worst. and the worst night at the same time. I mean, between that and the cops breaking us up, uh, doing a fuck police brutality song, and me trying to grab acid off the floor, I guess that was probably the better night. So did you yeah. do the acid? I did do the acid. How much? You always do too the much. Acid. Where I forgot to mow the lawn in the morning. <laughs> I had to end up mowing the lawn on the military base on acid because I didn't want to get a fine because my parents were out of town. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, well, your parents would have gotten trying to like yeah, think about why fine. you would have, have to mow the lawn in the morning. Was up. <laughs> yeah, so I had to random. mow the lawn. My sister woke me. Was like, was like, we're tripping on acid like six in the morning. She's like, you know, you got to mow the lawn or your parents are gonna find out. Oh, oh damn, that yep. just reminded me of a story a I'm not even able to tell. Oh. God damn it! Tell it. <laughs> Those are the best stories. The ones. Yeah, why aren't you able to tell it? Actually, you know what? Yeah, far enough away. Uh, me and my brother. <laughs> That's uh, what I figured. So, uh, me and my brother oh. once did acid. Uh, this was, <laughs> I don't even remember when this was, but we did acid together while I was still living at my mom's. And, uh, it's a hell of a there drug. was like the, it was the day that he decided, hey, like, we're still gonna, like, do chores for mom, though. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the cat wanted to Yo, kick it you're off. You're just like fucking oh. with Dr. Biscuits. I just no. didn't want him to knock it off, so I helped him out. You're going to give Dr. Biscuits a panic attack. <laughs> anyway, Sorry. we're doing acid. <laughs> the panic attack. Um, <laughs> he decided, hey, we're going to clean the bathroom today. Y'all ever sat on oh, acid no. and tried to clean a mirror? Don't go oh, in the bathroom dude. on no, acid, yeah, stay bro. Stay away from the mirror on stay acid. Stay in the bathroom on acid. Now, listen. Just the bathroom in general is yeah. a bad idea. The even worse thing was, 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 was an acid, your pants on acid, as I came to find out. Not it was an acid. I, it. Uh, I did I acid did. later and was like, oh, all right, yeah. whatever that was, that was an acid. Uh, acid is fine. Whatever the fuck I was on was not fine was with the mirror. I was some... so mad. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Every time I looked in the mirror on actual acid, it's fine, honestly. I can handle oh, that. That's whisper. like I said out in the driveway. Built different. Um, mm. <laughs> I hate that this is going to be. In this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Come no. Cleaning a mirror on what I thought was acid was the most frustrating experience of my entire life. 
Dude, so I uh, back back in the day, I don't like admitting this out loud, but I dated like a hippie, hippie, like Rainbow Gathering hippie, right? Like fucking your cat just drank like, the booze. Ra- Rainbow Gathering. So I go to this Rainbow Gathering with I'm all these. I'm gonna hold that against yeah, you for the rest does. of life. Like me being yeah, punk same. and shit like that. Fucking like yeah, no. you just lost all street cred. Yeah, my uh, my <laughs> like when I was with my wife, she just constantly gave me shit about. She's like, remember that hippie you were with? You remember Chewy? The the <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> so. so <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm like He's the, a hippie yo. Burn him at the stake the, 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 no, are you a Burn him at the stake or something? <laughs> Get him Burn I'm like, him hey, I'm not gonna lie The, the sex was absolutely <laughs> mind blowing But anyway I'm I don't wanna hear well, about yeah, your sex you know, I'm, Like I'm, the third I'm, eye opens up And you're good Yeah you know? I know Something about my ass chakra <laughs> Getting opened up But so I'm, I'm hanging out With all these fucking hippies And like I hadn't I hadn't uh, done Got any him. psychedelics Or anything like that so this dude comes up and he's like, "Hey man, would you like like some chocolate lava pancakes?" And I was like, "Fuck yes, that sounds amazing." Who would say no to that? So I'm like three Sparkly deep into these motherfuckers. Water, that's what he's drinking, y'all. I'm like three deeps into these motherfuckers, right? And this dude it's comes okay. up and he's like, he's "Hey man, uh, you might want to calm down. Those are pretty potent." And I went, "You mean?" I was like, "You mean potent with chocolate, right?" <laughs> oh, I, you didn't no. realize they were dude, fucking hardcore the lace. Worst trip of my like. It was 12 <laughs> hours of me hugging a tree. Oh my god! In the middle of the fucking woods, dude. He couldn't right, tell you that right. before you started. This is a better. No, this is a better no. than your island he shit. Ju- he just said chocolate lava fucking you mean pancake. You potent with worst, chocolate. Worst, <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> worst trip. You, are we doing worst trips now? Is that what we're doing worst acid yeah, trips? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, do worst my trip. next, my worst acid trip. So I went to fucking. I worked at a smoke shop. Had fucking. I was great at making money, I guess, for them. And they sent me to Disneyland. My buddy brought a bunch of mushrooms and some chocolate. I started eating them. He's like only eat a quarter and i'm like i just ate the whole fucking thing he's like dude you're gonna trip balls i'd put like fucking an ounce in that batch (laughs) so we're at disneyland and my boss is fucking rich you know i won't say what company i work for but the smoke shop was the biggest smoke shop in town and he paid for a personal person to walk us around to every amusement park and she had a fucking whip thing dude she looked like she was dressed in bondage dude it was insane yo can I'm i work here it fucking that sounds nice if the disneyland, end of the story is bro. that person didn't wasn't actually there and was just a <laughs> no we were all yo there. we need a disney I princess remember, who's a dominatrix <laughs> i just remember going on the star <laughs> wars hot. tour ride <laughs> And vomiting all over the fucking floor, dude. Oh and yeah, and then being brought to the fucking emergency room. On, on that was acid. the worst on acid. And then they let me go, and I sat outside of Tomorrowland, and I heard God, dude. It was fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Telling me the world of tomorrow. Yes, we got was uh, tripping. We, we need a, 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 a fucking bad trip story from you. Yeah, uh, I, you know what? I have a lot of. Them. Tell me about the <laughs> worst time you ever did drugs and what it did to your life. So the one that's coming to the top of mind is like, like the sickening feeling I got like, from seeing shit. something that I wasn't ready to see, which is like a, it was at a warp oh, tour. No. Oh, oh god. god. No, no, no. Love warp tour. Yeah, I took man. A, a lot of acid. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I took acid and ecstasy. I was candy flipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, Yo, dude. I saw your eyes through your sunglasses <laughs> for that one. Turning the cartoons. Yes. So, but like, I remember like, I just like seeing like somebody got stabbed in the, in the crowd. Was this like 2004 or something? It was. I think yeah. so. Well, I remember this was in, this I was in like, Yo, I remember we're someone got for stabbed. That, you? This was in like Jersey. Uh, I'm fucking old. I could be your dad. But yeah, somebody girl. like was stabbed and I saw this, but like I became aware of it because I like yeah. turned and saw like this dude being carried by his friends, just like bleeding profusely all over. Like it was like, like his stomach and it was what very, the fuck? it was like very abrupt to me. Uh, and mind. like there Stop. was like real life gore and violence and it just like ruined my Holy life. Shit. I was so, just like, like, oh God, like I'm outside sources to confirm again. that it was real. That's forgivable. Uh, it was like immediate. Like, you know, I all wasn't right. like, there was no question. Like, Fair enough. It was very yeah. sobering. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Dude. But I remember just fuck? like the darkness, yeah, like just creeping into shit. my brain. And I was just like, oh God, life is terrible. Like, you know, I'm sitting <laughs> here like, eyes. you know, see these are like Look some at this pretty trip eyes, stories everybody. that I'm like, damn, that sucks. And I'm like, if I think about my worst <laughs> trip on any psychedelic, uh, fun fact. I was at a night of the spiders show. <laughs> <laughs> what? This, uh, no wonder he thing, likes you. So here's the thing is, Actually, I've never had a bad nice. trip. The only reason I rate this as a bad trip is because I had a slight panic attack uh, while at this show. Gave your cat your um, fucking treats. Justin, the first time that I ever spoke to you, I was on mushrooms. <laughs> oh, Got nice. to. Because you came up and you told me how much you love my guitar strap because it's a trans yeah. flag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember too, uh, you know, I, I was, I 
knew this was going to come up in some way. I was wondering which way it would. So I remember getting like watching you guys set up, and this is when Adam had long hair. <laughs> and I was like, I it. God, this is about to be the douchiest band. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong. Yes. I like, I just something in my head. I was like, Me Fuck. too, bro. Like, oh, that's how so did good. This, I'm how so am glad I at you this cut show? your hair. <laughs> and then you guys started Holy playing, shit. and I was like, Fuck. All right. You know what? <laughs> Listen, I've been living my and life not cut. judging a book by its cover, but like, I did it. Um, <laughs> I need to hear that because Adam look because Adam, of me. Yeah, <laughs> it was specifically you because I was like that that specific cut. I just like I've seen that in some early two thousands movie <laughs> where there is some dickhead that fronts a band and like dates the girl that like he sucks. I love this so much. <laughs> I need to hear more stories of Adam giving douche vibes. <laughs> like, yes. But you know yeah, what? and you know Adam's what? It was the worst thing ever because then I met Adam and I was like, God damn it! Like I can't even trust my own intuition. Like, why'd you cut uh, your hair, man? man? Huh? You so he would hair? look less like a douche. I so when he first cancer, cut his, it's the chemo. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> God damn it! Don't. Oh my God. Winnie I was about to say that. I was about to joke that too. I was about to joke. I thought it was too far. Don't but fuck you, with me, Starbuck. I'll so fucking far. bury you. He literally <laughs> went so much farther than I would have ever gone right now. Don't fuck with me. I literally yeah, was like, Steve I'm not gonna joke like, about the yeah, cancer. I was gonna make a joke about it. Steven. But Adam was like, we're doing the fucking cancer joke. All right, we got 10, 15 minutes. More? We already told our, all our drugs. I feel like we've been talking for a while. No, nah, you know what? One time I tripped at high school. Holy <laughs> fuck. What? Only? Only? <laughs> it's, it's not more. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, damn, I mean, we're having such a good time. <laughs> hey, so wait, wait, wait. wait. We, haven't, we haven't plugged Mandy's show yet. Next. What's the next show, Mandy? Yeah, what you got? So I was getting... Uh, <laughs> I love it! Yeah, don't say. Um, anyway... Don't leave me hanging. I will. Talk about it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I don't know when this will... Do you guys know when this is airing? Mm. Damn. No. Well, Have you noticed? Because I moved it back. I started saying, uh, instead <laughs> of naming weeks. what number episode. Two weeks? Yeah. All right. This is so, going to air in two weeks? We no. got a show. Honestly, Discontinue. I'm very excited Cancel about. the show. Uh, this is... <laughs> on, uh, we never do much for Halloween, and we did last year. And uh, last year was the first time I dressed up for Halloween in over a decade. Proud of you. This year, I will be doing it again. What are you going to be? Is it a surprise? If you want to know, you got to come see us open for Grumster and Warriors uh, October 27th at the Underground. It's the Friday before Halloween. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we, I love the Underground. You know, we're fucking hyped for this show. Uh, literally, like, I'd been hearing Grumster's name a lot, and we got hit up about the show, and I was like, dude, no fucking way. Like, all right, cool. Less, less. And now, like, apparently... uh. Both of those bands' managers are like monitoring our social media, and I'm like, Italian damn it! Dudes. Like, I actually have to keep up with like posting about this. Like, uh, it's a real drag. Fuck. Like, we play, didn't we play a show with Grumster? Uh, Coulda. I don't think I, I think I've never played play with Grumster. I'd like I to play with I Grumster. Hey, Grumster! So Grumster, good. if you're out there watching this, hit us up, Skeleton Army. Yo, we're like the horse of the Daniel scene. Come get Daniel some allergies from you. I feel <laughs> I know, like he's allergic I, to cats. I, I kind of am a little bit. I Yo, think, come fuck but I have this dude a cat up. At home. Humble him. But I don't um, care. I love cats. But anyway, yeah, we're playing the underground October twenty seventh. That's, That's awesome. our next one. And then, uh, listen, I ain't gonna not talk about it because I'm here. I'm playing a show with the Manic Dotes November eighteenth oh, as well. Shit. And, uh, Put the claps Y'all on. already know Sal Six is yeah, playing that show fun. too. That's gonna be it. a dope show. Our That's gonna, gonna be really show. sick. That's gonna My be the band's return getting of outshined. Adam. Your guys' band's getting outshined. <laughs> the yeah. of playing forever. We're all we're all there, so we don't have to pay to see South Six. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm, it's also a free show. Man, I sing like this. I don't. I can't I need, do it. I can't do it. <laughs> that show's gonna be like fun. I, I need I'm everybody so to go. Like one. seriously, so it's gonna be unique. Daniel just keeps talking over for him. him. Yeah. This is just for Adam. I appreciate it. He can, he can, he can talk over people when he's being Adam is fucking awesome. Him. You know what? <laughs> this guy should be the host just of this him. thing, not you. But we're, we're, we're both. We both are. What do you, have you heard of a co-host? But anyway, <laughs> so fucking... Uh, we know which one gets capitalized. <laughs> <laughs> our first show back now is only... There's, only, there's one less band on the... Uh, <laughs> Yo, on you the just like cut <laughs> this side of the footage. <laughs> 
No, just straight up. So it's uh, it's our you first show him. back. Adam <laughs> Adam promises his shoulder is going to be good by then. No, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be back November 18th. It's going to be the return Listen, of Adam. I'm going to stand that's the behind most Adam thing about this drum Sunday, for him. Sunday, November 18th. My brother oh, shit, Adam the is Never back. Got him arachnid. I got the right arm. You, you'll He's have to fret for me. got the right arm. I can do that one, actually. Like I said, just do a bunch of fucking chords, bro. Just do like... The cowboy chords, yeah, Justin the cowboy calls chords. That's yeah, I, I call them cowboy like, chords. It basically is. It's fucking country music. Country music is fucking chords. Get me a capo, and I'll. I I'll mean, do it. tell me I'm wrong. Country music is just fucking regular chords. I mean, a You're lot of wrong. music is regular chords, dude. My <laughs> notes are not regular chords. My notes yeah, are, are. weird ass strings. I promise you, country music right. chords. Is, is you you play in standard. You probably just so, use the fucking. <laughs> so yeah, we play in standard. You play a first, a third, and a fifth. And I use my core, pinky and my index. This finger. guy knowing music. Nobody theory. plays like Yo, me. Yo, he said, "Let me play a seventh. <laughs> I'm not actually a guitarist. I'm just, I'm just there. I barely am. I know, right? We're just, we're but just I'm, there yeah. for the presence. You ever Kicked like off come on to a we look podcast good. and act like I think you play things you that aren't very in good. standard T formation? <laughs> yeah, everything called the like, punk T. CGAF. Bro, when all else fails... Thank when, you. Good night. <laughs> when, when in doubt, we got C, A minor, F, G, brother. Like, that's how every fucking song... That's like win. 75% of our songs. Yeah, straight up. We'll do that. Anyway, my brother is coming through. I grew up... I started playing music with my brother when we were 14. We played in the band Ricky. and toured until I was like 28 and I moved out here. <laughs> so the, the Manicdotes is the first thing, first project I've ever been in without him in it. South Six is the first project he's ever been without me in it. So we're coming out here. Um, Are you guys going to do a song show fly- Yeah, the show flyer is our mom. Like, our mom had passed. So, it's gonna, like, I'm going to fucking... Cr- I get to play with my brother. You guys get to meet my fucking brother. I'm really fucking like excited that. for like, that fucking, show. It's just going to be lit, but... Is this, I'm imagining this is like a twins, like, Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger situation. Where you're the Danny <laughs> yeah, DeVito. Yeah, yeah, he has all the good looks. <laughs> yeah. You see this, Ricky? <laughs> Fuck, He looks dude. like he has all the good looks. <laughs> Yo, fun fact, I'm going to be so real with you. Uh, I don't think You posted the flyer for the show. Uh, on like the same day I was confirming a different show with the guys and I got the notification as I like confirmed a show with them and I was like oh shit I know that yeah feeling. that's right <laughs> so I sent them the screenshot I was like hey you guys remember when we agreed in passing in Tucson well we're doing that now <laughs> and they were like fuck yeah yeah we are you are right Thank like, you. It, was an, yeah. it was an instant like fuck yeah, we can't not do that. <laughs> and yeah. I was so stoked with that response because I was like, knowing the guys in my band, I'm like, I know what that meant because they will say no. They uh-huh. will just say no. Yeah. It was the like, fuck, yeah. If the anecdotes ask us to do a thing, we have to do the thing. It was, it was fucking, oh, like, also, and then also you made a comment about me sounding like Tom DeLonge. Like, uh, if you've listened, like, Ricky. Yes, I have. S- since he was fucking, yep. since he was a kid, uh, everybody, even people I show now, they're like, he sounds like Tom DeLonge. He's tried to escape it his whole he life. He sounds Yo, like, like Steve the showed good me the songs. Tom DeLonge, too. Yeah. Like, Steve showed me the songs. And, and I was like, Cheshire Cat yeah, this is good shit. Yeah. This is what I like yeah, listening he's, to. He's I tried knew to get why. away. He's tried to get, get away from it, like all of yeah. Like, we for all are. Ever. Yeah, like, we all are trying to get you, away from that. F- I, I, I tell everybody like your songwriting, your singing reminds me of Newfound Glory. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yo, my you, mom like, oh, tells seven. me that my voice sounds like the dude from Newfound Glory. Like, and my you mom sing failures not flattering perfectly or fucking uh, Catalyst. Oh yeah, uh, I've practiced that one. I know. What I do I sound like? Some Shit. dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let's, uh, let, let's compare everyone to well that. Band. I didn't Adam, just choke his ass let's out. See, let, me see, let me see. Uh Adam reminds me of uh of Dexter Holland a lot. You know I've what? Some of my new music. It. People have been saying I've been showing some new music. I got a brand called Brain Cake too as well. And You're doing with that with Drew, huh? With Drew and Jesse. And people say some of our music is a little bit offspring ish. And I'm, I'm like, to, you know what? I'm trying to just, just you know your voice, trying to see what I could like. You know what's get funny to? is I just recorded Buck Twelve and in that offspring song about how like, you know, Jimmy was a kid or whatever, it's that one song where it's like dun, 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 dun. anyway. I wrote a song about one of the people in that song. <laughs> I think about being fucked up by cops. I think you've got a. I think you've got a voice that that doesn't remind me of anyone, which is, yeah, is a compliment. Unique. I'm pretty. I unique. like. I don't pretty like. Weird. I didn't like hearing that I sound like Tom DeLonge because nobody told me I sound like anybody yet. <laughs> I, I so. don't hear Tom DeLonge. <clears throat> People I say I look like. like uh, Listen, I hear uh, it when Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Hold on. <laughs> 
Yeah. What, uh, yeah sounds like was, we're not ready. That was aggressive. All right. So everybody. Somebody's talking in the background. Do I need to get on the goddamn fucking. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is the most disruptive episode. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is the for sure the ADD episode. This is, yeah. Somehow it wasn't me. <laughs> I think it I'm was pretty good. Bummed. I don't know. You guys are like six shots deep. But, I'm not six shots. Uh, see, I think but you know what this is how all of them are. We're just me, sober. Right? I'm like, this is yeah. That's how yeah. people <laughs> who don't drink think that we drink. They're like, you ate like 20 shots. I'm like, you ate 20 ate shots? 20 shots? <laughs> yeah. You see, on top of that, at least forget. I'm not this one. Everybody, check out a better problem. Check out Skull Drug. No, I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Fuck with you. I'm fucking nice. with you. Skeleton I'm Army. I'm Evan from Skull Drug. Also, check out Skull Drug. They're fantastic. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, and check I out want Skull you Drug. Keep your kids in bed at night. Yeah, that's a weird ass thing to close on. So also, uh, shout out to Fleshlight. <laughs> shout out to Fleshlight. Fuck those things want, with your dick. I do want to say. Adam's I, back. I do want to say. <laughs> if you can't come to the Toys for Tots show with FOL, Blotter Vision, Skeleton Army, ADD, and Squared. Please You're feel going free to, hell. to message me <laughs> and send me a donation or send anyone in the band a donation or send us a toy. You're spanging on know. Bang Box right <laughs> now. I really yeah. want to make sure that we give back a little bit to this community this year. I think over the last few years, Fuck this yes. punk scene has not given it back enough. So let's do it this year. Come to my show. PS5. I'm going to be real. Uh, All right, that's a we good got one. asked that's to play that show. Yeah, he we, got had, asked to play. we had to say no. Yeah, oh, no. Say no. We had to say no, and now yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to hell. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to hell. Point. That's good enough I'm to end on. I'm ending talks. it now. <laughs> Sus. We did it. Could you, could Adam's you, back. Could you hear Adam's one arm? Like, did it translate to his voice? Are we still going? Could you, could you hear like a lack of oh, depth in his voice? still going. <laughs> Damn. Right. What? Let's go. All right. right. Now it's just me and Daniel. <laughs> it's Great job. Great job, you guys. That was a good one.